farm. We're picking apples because we're making homemade apple pies. I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride, but first we gotta get our beautiful apples. These are Cortland apples, perfect for making apple pies. No, they're not. Don't listen to Daddy D. What's up y'all? So we're at the store now. I'm gonna take you guys inside with me and I'm gonna show you everything that I'm going to get so we can make our homemade apple pies. It's gonna be sweet, it's gonna be simple, and at the end of it, you're gonna have a delicious, delicious pie for your Thanksgiving meal. Okay guys, let's go. So yesterday, me and the family, we went apple picking and we got all these delicious apples. You want to be in the video too? <laughs> so we got all, we picked all of these apples. They're so juicy and delicious. And They're fresh. Per and fresh, yes. And fresh. They're perfect. Oh, sorry. Tato wants to come in on the video. Okay, sorry. These apples are perfect for apple pies. These are the Cortland apples and they're so juicy, right? Okay, guys, are you guys going to help me make apple pie? Yeah! <laughs> guys, we've been doing apple picking, homemade I apple think. pies for, I think, I think, what, like the last 10 years? I'm so excited, guys, because I love doing this with them, and it's so simple and it's so easy, so let's get right into it. But whoever loves Mama Ashley, put the thumbs up. <laughs> And tell them, hit that like button. And tell them, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe already now. <laughs> okay, come on. Let's go wash the apples. Yeah. And guys, before you eat apples, you got to mix the fresh in water. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Where's Taylor's chair? Okay guys, so we're gonna start peeling the apples. We wanna get all the skin off. You guys wanna be in the video? Yeah, you're gonna help me cut. So I'm gonna peel the apples, and then you can help me cut them for the pie filling, okay? Yeah, cause I'm gonna cutting. Cause I'm a cutting man. Cause you're a cutty man? I'm a cutting man. Oh, you're a cutting man. Cutting yeah. man. About a quarter of an inch. Perfect. Okay guys, so now I have all my apples cut up. I cut about 10 of them because I'm gonna try to do two pies and I'm gonna do little apple tarts with them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a lemon. Half, I'm gonna squeeze it. Try to cover the... You want to do it like this too, so you catch all the seeds. So mix that a bit. Okay, so over here in your pan, medium heat. Don't go any higher because you don't want to burn anything. So the best thing to do is get a stick of butter. What you're going to do is you're going to open it, you're going to cut it in half, and you're going to use half of it in the pan. And right now we're making that sauce. I'm gonna cut it right in half. Hi, people again. <laughs> see if I can get you to do it, but I don't know if we'll be able to do it. Here. What you got to It's butter. Okay guys, like promised, like I said, everything's gonna be nice, simple, and easy. I had a block of butter, took half of it. So now, I'm gonna take half a cup 
of flour because what this the flour is going to do is it's going to thicken my sauce half a cup if you need to add more you can add more if you don't want it so thick you can add less okay and then i have half a cup of brown sugar if you don't want the brown sugar you can use just regular sugar if you want a little bit less if you want more you can do that we're not baking a cake so we don't have to necessarily measure exactly this again this is going to be to taste but these are the ingredients that you are going to need you are going to need butter you are going to need flour and you are going to need sugar i'm going to add i could stop here and i don't have to add regular sugar but i am because my family likes their apple pie sweet So I'm just gonna let all this come together. Okay guys, so it's a good consistency. Now I'm gonna add in my white sugar. I'm gonna do half a cup. It's gonna get thicker. And you don't want this to burn. That is so important. If it burns, it's, it's not gonna be a good thing. So see that consistency? That's exactly what you want. And then now, what are we gonna do? We're gonna add in the apples. And we're gonna cook this down just a little bit, and then we're gonna fill our pie crust. Okay, so I just want this to soften up a bit. So you don't have to cook down your apples before you put the pie in the oven. You can, if you want, just put this right in your pie crust. Personally, I prefer not to do that as well my family. We like our apples cooked a little bit softer and it creates all the, all the juices are gonna come out of the apple. This is gonna be a lot sweeter, a lot juicier if you cook them down a little bit. You don't wanna turn it into mush like applesauce, but you definitely wanna cook it down. So at this point, what I'm gonna start to do now, I'm gonna add my cinnamon. We like cinnamon, so I'm gonna add quite a bit. Now this, you can add as little or as much as you want. And then now I'm gonna add my nutmeg. Try not to overdo the nutmeg because the nutmeg is very strong. And you can always taste this. See what it tastes like. Oh my God, it's so good. Apples are so juicy. We picked the perfect apples. If you want more cinnamon, you can add more cinnamon. You want more brown sugar. You want more butter. Go ahead, you add that in there. Apple pies for the apple filling, it's not necessarily a recipe. You just need your staple ingredients and then you add what you want. And if you want the sauce to be thicker, you add just a little bit more flour. And that's pretty much it, guys. So I'm gonna let this cook down for a little bit, and when it's done, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so this is the consistency you want, perfect. See, and you got that thick sauce. I wish you guys could just taste this. It's perfect. So I'm gonna turn this off now, it's cooked enough for me. And okay, now the super awesome trick that I have for you. You busy, wonderful moms. Everybody wants to take their kids apple picking in the fall, which is amazing. And you, you know, I've gone with so many people who are like, oh, it's too much work. I'm not making an apple pie. I'm just gonna go and buy one from the store. But guys, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna go to the store and you're gonna buy pre-made pie crust, okay? So I have my pre-made pie crust here. It comes with two in a pack. I promise you, this is gonna be the best thing you ever do. And then I have these little tarts that I'm gonna fill here. I'm gonna fill these and I'm gonna put a little crumble on top of it with some butter, flour, and sugar. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. That's super simple too. And then these are just gonna be little apple tarts. And then I'm gonna have a pie. Okay, so let's get this going guys. So we're gonna preheat our oven. We're gonna see what it says on the box. So you don't have to think of it on your own. It's right here on the box. It tells you how to cook it. So we're gonna preheat oven to 400. Okay, so it comes with two pieces. Now here is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna fill this one and this one is gonna be covering the other pie. That one we're gonna use as our cover. So here we go. We're gonna fill the pie crust. Look at that guys. 
god. If you guys try this, I want you to tag me in it. I want to see it. A lot of people are like, what guys, Thanksgiving is in November. If you live in the States, I know guys, it was an adjustment for me too. But us Canadians, we celebrate Thanksgiving in October. So this is perfect for Thanksgiving. Okay guys, so I filled the pie. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this one out of here. Push it down and we're gonna put it right on top. I think it's okay. We're gonna go like that, and then we're gonna press the bottom. Pulling it off the side. Pinch. I'm rolling all that excess dough. You know, we're all super chefs over here. I'm gonna give some my crust indents. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put a little hole in the circle so it can release some heat. Trying to make people think you're a super chef. And when the oven is ready, we're just gonna slide that right in there. And there you go. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anyone. I won't tell. Okay guys, now I'm gonna do a little crumble. If you've ever had like a muffin or like a banana bread and there's like that crumble on top, that's all it is, is butter, sugar, and um, flour. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a little bit a brown sugar, that's a lot, a little bit less. Okay, take a little bit of flour. And then I'm gonna cube a few pieces of butter inside. And then we're gonna mix it and it's gonna be a crumble. Might have to add a little bit more flour. You need the perfect consistency for this. I need a little bit more flour. And take a fork and like try to like get all that stuff to come together. It's gonna be crumbled. And you can't use like warm butter, you have to use cool butter. Okay guys, and that's our crumble, okay? And then we're just gonna like sprinkle it on top of our apple tarts. small pieces in here and that's On top just so it can look pretty 
And that's it guys, that's it for the apple tarts. Okay guys, so we're gonna let these cook until they're a little bit golden brown and then that's it, we're gonna be all done. Okay guys, so the tarts are all ready, so I'm gonna take those out of the oven. Look at those. Look at these guys, they look so good. They smell amazing. These guys looking great. They're still gonna stay in the oven because they still need a bit more time, but they look so good. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you guys how I like to plate it. So I have just this cute little bowl on a little cutting board. And my people like their French vanilla ice cream. So I'm gonna get some ice cream. So I got there, that there now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these apple tarts. I'm gonna get it right out of here. See, I took it out. I washed my hands, my hands are clean. And then I'm gonna just put it right in there, guys. And sprinkle a little cinnamon. I'm gonna do a sprinkle of the nutmeg, just a tiny bit of the nutmeg. And you guys don't have to do this. This is just what I like to do just to be extra, because you know, that's what my people like. That's what my kids like. And then there, and that's it. I might give her two now. Because she might be a little disappointed if she comes and she only sees one. So Go guys, look at that. Tell me that doesn't look so good. Okay, these are the pies all done, fresh out of the oven. Want your ice cream? Mine. Okay. <laughs> look at that smoke, guys. Smells so good. Guys, I have a little bit of the filling left. I know Cyan likes her apples and stuff, so I'm gonna put a little bit more of this on the side for her, cause it's gonna be so good. Guys, I'm making this little tiny one for daddy, don't tell him. Okay guys, are you ready to take? Don't talk like that. <laughs> I'm not liking anyway. I'm having, I'm having a sh I don't know. Okay, guys, are we ready for this one? I am ready for this. I'm ready. Super duper. Bro, stop playing. What happened? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> just literally stop saying what happened. Seriously. Okay, guys, we're all ready. That's for you. I put some oh. more filling on top, you know, because I never thought I was gonna get all of it. And this. this is for daddy. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Let me try this. Now, if I eat it and my voice changes, <laughs> <laughs> you guys are silly. Plating? A 10. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I know, because I always tries to attack me for my plating. Ice cream? I'm gonna make the ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I can. Mm. You guys can get no, that. What about the what what about the tart? And I put extra sprinklings of some cinnamon and nutmeg on top of your side. You guys are not 
saying? <laughs> I think we like it. <laughs> they have nothing to say. <laughs> the texture. <laughs> The texture of the tart is actually nice. I'm giving it a 10. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the tart is a 10. The plating is a 10. Mm -hmm. what, what was the other thing? The texture, plating, and flavor. Mm -hmm. So flavor. Hmm. This is a must have. Even if we don't have food on Thanksgiving, we must have this. I'm going to give the flavor a 10 too because what more can you really add? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 30 out of 30. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. And you, Daddy Bilo? I think his, his um, um, ums are just. Mm, she said it all. 10, 10, and another 10. I don't know about you guys, but mm, apple pie and ice cream is, is our thing. I love the pie tarts though, like the apple tarts, because they're just like bite sized and so perfect. Can I get another one? Mm -mm. Didn't you already steal one when they came out the oven? No. <laughs> And then the apple pies will be for tomorrow. Cyan, would you like another one? No, thank you. Oh, I'm not even done yet. <laughs> I see. Well, I only gave daddy one. I think she can get a zero for being Russian. Mm. I feel like they're scarce. Both of them are not symmetrical. Mm. I, thought that, I thought it would be funny to give daddy the small one. I was trying to be funny. Oh, nice and flaky. Okay, guys. Mm. Thanksgiving came early. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, everything will be so simple. I hope you guys give this one a try. Everything will be down below in the description box. I'll give you all your ingredient list and everything. Drop a comment if you guys are gonna try this. I'm super excited to know. And happy Thanksgiving. And we love you from the outside family, Mama Ashley TV. Don't forget to subscribe. What are you guys doing? <laughs> don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a post when we post and we love you guys so much. Bye guys.